democracy has spoken, democracy worked. This is why we are the greatest country in the entire world. And we're gonna. Hey Gala fam, it's Rachel and Rhea and we're the Gala sisters. We're actually Irish twins. Yeah, which means we're 15 months apart or less. So today is a great day guys! <laughs> Biden is officially the next president and Kamala is officially our next vice president! Yes, I know we made a video about this video up here somewhere, some about special edition or something. But this video is after the Electoral College. I think the Electoral College is kind of stupid in my opinion, but formalities, formalities, formalities. So on that note, um, we'll take a look at Biden and Kamala administration. So guys, most of you guys probably know this from Iraq. We'll just recap this very quickly. That for eight years, from uh, 2008 to 2016, um, he was vice president. He had been in the Senate for 47 years previous to that. Obviously, that's a really good thing. He has a lot of senatorial experience because the Senate apparently is too stupid to pass a bill. Video up here somewhere about what we think they actually mm -hmm. do. But anyways, <laughs> sorry. Had to make that show. But anyways, you guys, <clears throat> there's another really good news today, too. The original, um, the original, the first step towards ending this pandemic started in the U.S. today. I don't know if it's going to work or it's going to, you know, because I keep hearing, like, oh, it's going to be over by this day or that day or that day or this day. We just, we still don't know yet. And Biden and Kamala are left with a mess. Yes. So we... I mean, vaccines have been distributed to all 50 states, um, and probably to the five. The five extras. The five extras, I'm sure, and there's not nearly enough for everyone, but eventually there will be, because there's going to be other companies coming out with other vaccines. Stay tuned to this channel. We will talk more about the vaccines as they happen. We promise this channel is somewhat a news channel. I'm not entirely sure how it got here, but that's okay. But vaccines started going out into arms today. So it it is it is hopeful. It is something to be happy about. It's, you know, tread carefully. Um, there, there are going to be options about which vaccine you can take. So discuss with your doctor which one will be best for you. And do your research and just think about it. But if you are capable of getting vaccines, because I know that there are some people who can't get hey, vaccines. Hey, Jonathan Reiner, you'll equip them about 100% of people vaccinated. That was really rude. Yeah, that was really stupid because um, children with cancer cannot get vaccinated. So don't ever say that again. And I just know so much about the vaccine community because I do have a child with autism. And one of the things that gets thrown at me is, you know, vaccines cause autism. Well, no, they don't. But there are some children, especially some children, who cannot get vaccines because their immune systems are so compromised and they're so sick that they have to rely on herd immunity to protect them. And one of the reasons why we who can get vaccines take those vaccines is to protect the very vulnerable, fragile people who cannot get them. However, just because vaccine distribution has started does not mean that the darkest days of this stupid virus are not to come. Yeah, keep wearing your mask. Keep social distancing. Do not have a large gathering for the holidays this month or next month. Stay with your immediate family. She lived with me. I live with her, so mm -hmm. it's fine. 
That's why we don't wear masks. The CDC does recommend you wear masks in your home, but there's no chance I'm going to do that. Yeah. Okay, so Biden has uh, started announcing who is going to be in his cabinet, and he's been assigning roles to people. Uh, he's making some ground... Uh, Breaking. ground breaking movements on this and by choosing women and uh, and black people which is just wonderful but you should go and research who these people are start paying attention learning their names we're not going to give you our opinions on these not yet we are going to be watching them Yes, okay, so we wanted to mention this. There was a talk over the weekend that Governor of New York, Andrew Cuomo, the wonderful, amazing head of the NGA, was going to be Attorney General. He turned it down because he wants to stay with his family of New York. Do not pressure him to do it. Do not ask him to do it. Respect his decision. So we'll link below to his statement on it in his briefing. And what he said was just so loving and so beautiful. And he, it just shows how he's in this job with a servant's heart. He's in it for the people. And I see so many negative comments online like, he's trying to screw over restaurants. He shut down New York again. How dare he? When de Blasio said, who's the mayor of New York currently, said on CNN just um, t this morning, that they're looking at a whole shutdown again. They're staring it in the face. Do we want that? Absolutely not. So you complaining about restaurants being shutting down, it's probably going to get a lot worse. And we will watch the stimulus news, we promise. But now that there's a new administration, no matter what happens, we will get this virus under control. We'll get money to state and local. I don't know what Mitch McConnell's deal is with the state and local. I don't get it because the state where he's from, Kentucky, um, is also in financial trouble. I am so damn tired of people from both sides of the line, Democrats and Republicans, giving their governors so much grief for sh closing down and trying to keep us safe and doing the best they can, it is not their fault that Congress is dragging their feet on aid for us. That is not their fault. They are trying to keep make it so that we live to see next year. Do you want 50 Floridas? <sighs> DeSantis, or, honey? Yeah. yeah, or do you want New York to just go back to the 900 deaths a day? Do you want South Dakota to just be everybody? The virus is burning out of control in South Dakota. And Christian Noem just says, meh, meh. I am elated. I am beyond excited to get Kamala and Joe Biden into that White House to get some real uh, guidance from the federal government on how to tackle this virus and how we are going to um, face it head on like fearless, valiant Americans. We need to remember, America first, party second. If the Democratic Party is, is having a problem, all of America's weighted down. We are Americans. We never stand down from a fight. We face every obstacle head on. I mean, ex unless it's, you know, something you can't see. You know, unless it's just something that science tells you and, you know. But it'll be nice. <sighs> like, really? Come on. It'll be nice to be led by science. Not by idiots, but by science. Now, Joe Biden has a, a um, COVID advisory board that's actually headed up by an actual doctor. Mm -hmm. Dr. Celine Gounder, contributor to CNN. Mm -hmm. Instead of being headed up by Mike Pence. Mike Pence does not have a degree in um, medicine. And Minnesota's own Michael Osterholm. <laughs> Michael Osterholm, who works for the University of Minnesota, is also on the board. Real doctors, real scientists. Instead of just yes. instead of just having like a bunch of like random people who are like, oh well that name sounds good, so let's put this name on there. Dr. Fauci, 
will that you're gonna leave our opinion about him out of here has agreed to stay on. He's kind of ancient at this point. For some reason, the administration is going to be very old. The average age in Congress is about 70. I mean, there's a few young congressmen. And there are some older congressmen who we adore and we are so and thankful And members of the House of Representatives, too. Yes, and that we are so blessed to have working for us. But we do think it would be to everyone's advantage to get some fresh blood in there. Get a younger perspective. You need to have... Um, all sorts of people in there so that everyone is represented. And at some point, we're going to do a video <laughs> of comparing and contrasting the House of Representatives to Congress and how it's different. It's very different, two very different entities and bodies. And I feel like we talk about, you know, these two things like they're the same, they're one and the same, and they're not. So just the best news today is that the Electoral College did the right thing. They did not give in to any sort of pressure from Trump or Trump yeah. goons. Yep, his his cronies, Texas, shame on you. And they voted correctly according to what their people said. And, I mean, democracy has spoken. Democracy worked. This is why we are the greatest country in the entire world. And we're going to extend this, this on here. I know that Tonight on Como Prime Time, I know that Chris had said that he is going to do all he can to inform to inform you guys. We are going to do exactly the same thing because that is our duty as you know people who have an outlet and a means to talk about it. That is so important. We will be doing a lot of these update videos. We'll be right there when Biden is inaugurated. We'll be. <laughs> that's so weird to say. It's beautiful. Um, we'll be right there when. Congress is seated. We'll be right there. All of this beautiful stuff that's happening. Stop turning this virus into something political. And the reason why it's happening is because Trump makes everything a political statement. And we can finally say after four years of torture and through the last year of hell that we are proud to be Americans. <laughs> we used to say... And Biden's, I love Biden's, build back better. And we are going to build back, and it's going to be so great. And we're finally going to make America great. And we're going to be on that ground floor. We're going to be right there with CNN. We're going to be right there with, with NBC. We're going to be right there with all these local news affiliates and, you know, inter and national and inter even the international stage. We're going to be right there. We're going to be in the thick of it because this channel is officially announcing that they support these people. We are here to help. If you need somewhere to go, come to this channel. We have an entire section in this channel dedicated to people telling their story. And I think that one of the beautiful things that Andrew Cuomo also said in line with what Joe Biden said about building back better is that one of the reasons he feels he needs to stay in New York right now as their governor is because he needs to help New York build back after this devastating pandemic. And here's the other thing too. We're going to say this. There is a rumor flying around that she and I are rich. That is not true. No. Just watch, watch our Get to Know Us playlist. You will see how little we spend on our hair, on these very cheap nails, that we live in a very tiny apartment. Um, we don't have our own washer or dryer. I mean... Look at our cooking videos where we, I'm literally cooking on the floor because we have no counter space. We don't even have a kitchen table. And here's the thing. Our dream is to get a house and that's going to happen because of all the cool things that are about to happen. You guys stay tuned to the news. Stay tuned to CNN. Stay tuned to NBC. Stay tuned to the news that matter. Don't stay tuned to Newsmax or Fox News. Stay tuned to, to what matters. So if you guys have any further questions or want us to you know, cover anything or would like an interview. Remember, our doors are always open. If you have anything you want to comment, comment down below. So we're going to end the video here because there's nothing else to say. Yeah. If you guys like this video, make sure to click that big thumbs up down below. 
I would advise against clicking the down thumbs down button because the algorithm is exactly the same thing. And why would you give oxygen to the garbage? Smash that subscribe button so that you don't miss a moment of everything that's happening and click that bell and click all. So you always know whatever we're updating new and fun content during this vlogmas and thereafter. So yeah, make sure that you email us with questions and comments and share these videos with your friends and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.